This $40 case transforms your Raspberry Pi 5 into a legitimate desktop computer. It's complete with a real-time system monitor, triple RGB cooling, and an M.2 SSD expansion slot. In this video, I'm testing the Electrail Mini PC case to see if it delivers premium features at budget pricing. If you're thinking about using your Raspberry Pi 5 as your secondary desktop computer or perhaps as a server, then this review is for you. The Electrail Mini PC case is more than just protection for your Raspberry Pi 5. It's a desktop transformation kit with some very useful features. First, you get this 1.3 inch OLED screen that shows real-time system stats, CPU temperature, memory usage, storage space, and the IP address, which is useful if you want to do remote desktop connection with VNC. The case includes three RGB fans for excellent cooling performance in addition to a fan that is directly on the CPU cooler. It includes two rear exhaust fans and one top-mounted intake fan. There's also a built-in M.2 SSD slot that supports drives up to 2280 format. The aluminium and acrylic construction gives it a premium mini PC aesthetic. This looks like something you'd actually want on your desk. Everything routes through custom adapter boards that maintain access to the original GPIO pins. Plus, you get proper power button functionality with safe shutdown. The case measures 120 by 120 by 72 millimeters. That's compact enough for most desk setups. And there's a version of this case that works with a Jetson Orin Nano if you're into AI projects. Here's where this case gets interesting, the price to feature ratio. Most Raspberry Pi 5 case with similar features cost $70 to $90. The sound founder Pyron Man 5, for example, runs at $85. Premium aluminium cases without displays cost $50 or more. At $39.90, the Electro case delivers premium features at mid-range pricing. But there are a couple of weaknesses I'd like to talk about. The case fans aren't PWM controlled, so they run at full speed constantly. This means about 50 decibels of noise at arm's length. The CPU fan, on the other hand, is activated only when it's needed under heavier loads. You also need to provide your own power supply, keyboard, mouse, and cables. These items will drive up the cost, although if you're like me, you probably already have spares available. The case is just the enclosure and the cooling system. The assembly takes about 30 to 35 minutes and it requires basic DIY skills. This isn't plug and play like some alternatives. The ideal user is someone who wants the Raspberry Pi 5 to look and perform like a real desktop computer without paying premium case prices. Electrail includes a detailed color assembly guide that walks you through each step clearly. And I didn't have any problems putting this case together. The kit does include a screwdriver and you just need to add some patience and steady hands. The build quality really shows during assembly. All the components will fit precisely. In my experience, the most challenging part is managing all the ribbon cables and connections. There are quite a few to route properly. These ribbon cables are fragile, so take care to connect them in the correct orientation without bending them. Installing the heatsink requires some firm pressure, but the included instructions do make it clear what to expect. The M.2 SSD installation requires a screwdriver to secure the drive properly. As I didn't have a drive available when I did the assembly, I had to remove the two acrylic panels and then the L-shaped aluminium panel with the OLED screen to install it later. Aside from the many screws I had to remove and take care not to lose, this was an easy process. The software setup involves downloading Electro's scripts from GitHub and it enables the OLED display and power button functions. While it's not plug and play, the process is well documented and it worked without any issues in my first try. Overall, this feels like a quality kit designed by people who actually assembled it themselves. The 40 minute build time felt reasonable for the features that you're getting. So how does this perform as an actual desktop computer? With the Pi 5 8 gigabyte model that I used, basic productivity works quite well. Web browsing with multiple tabs, LibreOffice documents and even 1080p YouTube playback worked okay. The cooling system keeps CPU temperatures around 45 degrees under full load. That prevents thermal throttling effectively. Now here's something important about storage you should remember. The case only supports NVMe SSDs, not SATA drives. I actually made this mistake initially installing a SATA M2 drive that simply wouldn't work. Once I switched to a proper NVMe SSD, I could install the operating system directly from the network to the drive. 
drive. The M2 SSD provides a massive performance improvement over micro SD cards. Boot times drop significantly and you will feel the difference when you actually use this computer day to day. I tested my Raspberry Pi 5 desktop computer with general browsing, LibreOffice and a few games. The OLED display proves genuinely useful for monitoring system health without opening additional windows. Based on my testing, I can say that the Raspberry Pi 5 with 8 gigabytes of RAM makes for a solid secondary computer that handles everyday computing tasks well. I actually prefer this setup as a server. I use another Raspberry Pi 5 as a node red server for example for home automation and with this case's cooling and M2 storage it would excel as a file server, media server or even a web server. The OLED display becomes especially useful for server monitoring without needing a dedicated monitor. The noise from constant fan operation might bother some users in a quiet environment but if you do actually use this computer as a server most likely it's going to be in a closet or in a server room which is going to be far away from where you work. The Electro Mini PC case delivers substantial value at the $39.90 price point. You get premium features typically found in much more expensive cases. The OLED monitoring, triple fan cooling and M.2 expansion create a legitimate desktop or server experience. Yes, the assembly does take effort and the fans do generate noise, but if you want your Raspberry Pi 5 to look and perform like a real computer, then this case delivers. Please drop a comment below if you're planning to use the Raspberry Pi 5 as a desktop computer or a server. And thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one.